Well, hello. Today we're going to shade and highlight this tangle called Inipod. And I'm going to begin with my graphite pencil shading these orbs here. I'm going to put sort of a backwards C shape in the bottom right hand corner of each one of the orbs and also shade where these orbs tuck in underneath one another like it does right here. I'm also going to shade these outside layers, adding quite a bit of graphite right here where these layers tuck in, and also adding a bit of graphite as the layers bump up against one another. I'm going to shade every single one of the little inapods in the same way, so I'm going to go ahead and speed things up.
now that we've added all of our graphite, let's go ahead and blend it in using our tortillon. Okay, time to add some highlights using our white pastel chalk pencil. Anywhere that we see these bright spots where we don't have any graphite is a wonderful place to add a bit of this pastel chalk. Let's go ahead and blend all of that pastel chalk using a tortillon. Remember that it's nice to have a tortillon just for blending in your chalk. This is a tortillon that it'll probably get some graphite on it simply from the blending process, but it doesn't have all of that residue or residual graphite that the graphite tortillon would typically have. I do wipe this one off every once in a while. Um, to take off any of that extra graphite that might hop on while we're blending.
For some of those final touches, I like to go in with my white jelly roll pen and just add some extra shine wherever there are those lovely white highlights. And here's our finished tile. I'm pretty satisfied with that. I love the depth that comes with all of the shading and highlighting. This was such a fun pattern. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and that I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.